I introduce to you the all new VW Tiguan. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the different models. We're going to talk about the different engine options available. We're going to talk about pricing, features, practicality, cost of ownership, and I'm going to show you a couple of turbines. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about. So, ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any of your time, allow us to get started. First things first, that is the Tiger, and this is an Iguan. And that is how they came up with the name Tiguan. But neither of those are a hippo. Hey hippo, what's happening? The boot of the new Tiguan is 37 liters bigger than the one you get on the outgoing model. This one is 652 liters, so you have much more space for yourself and the family. But where are my manners? I can't start a review with the boot scene. So let's go back to where it all began. For the launch of the all new VW Tiguan, we flew to the bear. Yeah, I love saying Kabeha. Shout out to all the locals in Kabeha. Hey, Elink, what's happening? So, when we arrived, we found a number of Tiguans waiting for us. For this specific launch, VW brought out the Life model and the R-Line model, which are both powered by the same 1.4-liter TSI engine. As you're looking at that engine, you'll notice there's a lot of space in there for something bigger. Yes, you can also get this car with a 2-liter TSI engine and a 2-liter TDI engine, but I'm just hoping somewhere down the line we get a new Tiguan R. But let's get back to our new Tiguan. The one you're looking at right now is the 1.4-liter TSI-engined R-Line model. It comes with 110 kilowatts and 250 newton meters of torque, and it is paired with a 7-speed DSG transmission. And speaking of the transmission, you'll now change gears using that switch behind the steering wheel. In terms of the actual drive, they set this car up to be more comfortable. The suspension is soft, it rides well, but it does get a bit bumpy on uneven road conditions, but it's nothing to complain about. As for the actual performance, this 1.4 TSI gives you enough power for driving around town, for cruising on the highways, but the problem comes when you want to overtake. You'll feel a need for more power, so if you want to have a car that gives you some more spirited driving, I'd recommend you go for the 2-liter TSI, which produces 140 kilowatts. As for the fuel consumption, I'll wait to get this car on test so that I can give you accurate numbers, but while we're here, Let's take a quick look at the interior. First thing you'll notice is that everything is in the infotainment system, but they did try and make it more user-friendly by adding shortcut buttons for you to quickly go to the cameras, the air conditioning, the massaging seats. But as for your aircon, you still need to slide your fingers around. I still prefer knobs, but it's not that bad. You now get a heated steering wheel which has buttons. Thank you VW. You have a digital display and you have this new dial which you can use to increase your volume change between your different driving modes or even change your ambient lighting proper stuff on the topic of ambient lighting the entry level model and the life model get about 10 colors but the r line gets about 30 different colors for you to choose from the ambient lighting on the r line also adds those dots on the dash i'm not too sure about them but let me know what you think of them in the comments below but you know what kids are actually gonna love this ambient lighting they will and not just kids I also think this will be very popular with the baddies. But that's a story for another day. What I can talk about now are the IQ Matrix headlights. You can only spec them on the R-Line model. They are not standard. And speaking of lights, looking at the ones in the rear, all I have to say is, hey Suzuki Grand Vitara, what's happening? In the dark, those lights look exactly the same. Let's move on from the lights. Anyone buying a Tiguan is interested in knowing about the practicality, so let's take a quick look at the back seats. There is more than enough legroom and you have concealed cup holders in your center armrest. Concealed cup holders are always a nice touch. Now as for your backseat passengers, they'll be a little more relaxed knowing they have their own rear air vents to keep them warm or cool depending on the weather. As for the seats in front, they're both heated, ventilated and they will give you a massage. FYI, this is the best massage I've ever received from a car proper stuff in terms of the interior there is no denying that the new tiguan is better than the outgoing model but when it comes to the exterior there's a bit of a debate what do you guys think truth be told i really like the look of the outgoing model it has defined lines it looks bold it looks edgy it looks tough it looks like an suv that is an engine whereas the new one looks like a smooth aerodynamic electric car that just happens to have an engine but let me know in the comments which of the two do you prefer the old Tiguan or the new one? This new Tiguan is available in three different models. There is the base Tiguan, the life Tiguan, 
and the R line Tiguan. Hey, you know when you start saying Tiguan a lot, you start wondering what am I saying? Tiguan, Tiguan, Tiguan. Anyway, Tiguan. Moving right along, with the help of this PowerPoint presentation, this is a list of all the Tiguans you'll be able to buy in the near future. With the exception of the entry level model, VW made sure that this new generation of Tiguan comes in a bit cheaper than the range it replaces. But there's a bit of a catch. You see, of the three engine models available, two of them have been detuned. The 2-liter R-Line, which was once available with 162 kilowatts, will now only be available with 140 kilowatts. As for the TDI, instead of the 130 kilowatts in the outgoing model, you'll now get 110 kilowatts. Earlier on in the video, I mentioned there were two models that we had available for this launch. So far, you've seen a lot of the R-Line, but let me quickly show you the Tiguan Life. I don't know who comes up with these names. Anyway, when we arrived in Kabeha, the Tiguan Life is the one we got to drive first. And as I've mentioned before, the engine is exactly the same. The exterior differences are obvious, but if you look at the interior, you'll notice some changes as well. For example, on the dashboard, you don't get the R logo. You don't get those dots that turn into ambient lighting in the dark. But if you are someone who doesn't really care for any of those things, you can save yourself the 63,500 Rand and buy yourself the Tiguan Life. But whichever model you go for, just like this roadblock was waiting for us, just know there are optional extras waiting for you. If there's anyone here who knows the price of a wind turbine, please let me know. I saw two of them and I'm just curious. Speaking of the wind turbines, I was able to record this video because this car is fitted with the optional extra of a panoramic sunroof. Yes, the cars you've been seeing here are loaded with optional extras. If you want things like a reversing camera, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, a head-up display, you're going to have to pay for them. The IQ Matrix headlights, the 20-inch alloy wheels, and even a Hammond Kardon sound system. While playing around on the configurator, I spent my 1.4 TSI R line to 925,200 Rand. Those are optional extras of 158,900 Rand. So remember, when you walk into the dealership, be careful which boxes you tick. And just before we get to pricing, I'd like to say if you still haven't liked this video, please like. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support local YouTube guys is the right thing to do. We are still on the road to 120,000 subs. So Please share this video on your WhatsApp status, on your Twitter, on your Instagram. Let them know there's a Mr. How Much on YouTube. With that said, let's get to our cost of ownership, which is powered by Hippo. Now, if you were to buy this VW Tiguan 1.4 TSI R line without any options, you'd pay 766,300 Rand. On finance, that's around 14,981 Rand over six years at 12% interest. If you put in 50 liters of petrol, you'd pay 1,191 Rand. And using Hippo, I was able to get 10 car insurance deals. And the best one I got was around 2,200 Rand, which brought my total cost of ownership to 18,372 Rand. As always, if you're interested in getting a quote for your own car, be sure to visit Hippo. I'll leave a link in the description and pin a comment in the comment section below. And for some added peace of mind, the VW Tiguan comes with a 5-year, 90,000 km service plan and a 3-year, 120,000 km warranty. While we're here, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Matthew. He's the one driving the Tiguan life. And for those of you who are wondering where we went after we landed in Kabeha, we drove to a town called Graf Renet. To any locals watching from Graf Renet, shout out to all of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. And this brings us to the end of our review. You know what? I've spent hours editing this review. And after spending those hours, I've looked a lot at this Tiguan and it has kind of grown on me. It looks kind of nice, although I still prefer the outgoing model. I'm personally very impressed that VW managed to bring this car in cheaper than the outgoing model. That is huge. Well done, VW. Well done. But I just wish they'll change one thing. From what I've been observing lately, people are tired of optional extras. They don't want to tick boxes anymore. So I'd advise brands like VW just to consider selling different models with a set list of options as standard. For example, if you buy the Life Tiguan, they throw in adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, heated seats. But if you buy the R-Line, then you get those 20-inch alloy wheels as standard. You get the matrix lights as standard. You get the panoramic sunroof as standard. That would simplify things and bring in a lot of customers who've wandered off into other brands. But that's just me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one.
take care by the way while we're here we got to visit the valley of desolation this is what it looks like